All right, on to the third game of the first match. My opener seems very good. Turn two Riddle Smith. Hopefully, draw some other artifacts. Got some good land going on. Yeah, that works. Riddle Smith can just be a body if it has to be. Two one is fine. Light Mamba. Ikerclaw Mirror. Well, that's what Contagious Nim is for. Definitely swing with the Riddle Smith. I should have been more aggressive that last game. Yes, Contagious Nim, so good against Iker Glomir. It's fine. It's just bear. That is my Sisbear answer. He does get a swing in, but it's fine. Can't corpse correct back this way either. Although he can blow it up in any number of different ways. And he gets the Iker Claw Mirror back. That's a little annoying. Definitely lead with the Soliton. And I do not need that island. So awesome. Filtering. Go, go. Okay, so I can block the Iker Claw Mirror with the Soliton profitably, assuming he doesn't kill it first but he's got the Golem Artisan. Need the removal spell for that guy right about now. Oh man. I think I play the Heavy Arbalest and keep Disperse up. Meanwhile, I can dig... If he tries to kill it, I can disperse, which is especially good if it's Slice and Twain, because then he doesn't draw the card either. If I can get Soliton online, I probably just win. If I draw a land, I can do six damage, which is more than he can pump. Three, four, five, six, yeah. If he doesn't try to kill it and I draw the land, I'm going to win with my Soliton combo. We'll be right back here. Okay, he goes for the pump on the cor or for flying on the corpse cur. Okay. Take two or four really, I'll take four. Now I can kill him even if I don't draw a land. Like, if he had the Slice and Twain, he'd just go ahead and use it, I think. Man, Golem Artisan is really good in the Infect deck if you have the Artifact Infect creatures. That's awesome. Never even considered that. Okay. 
Yeah, uh, in retrospect, that sideboard, I, sh I probably should have done it after game one. Because um, I, I discarded the battle gear in game one, pretty sure. Knowing that it wasn't what I needed, so I should have remembered that. Got to be on the ball on the sideboard. Another Iker Claw Mirror, or, or the original Iker Claw Mirror again. And a Blight Mamba. Jeez. I'm almost tempted to use Disperse. Am I going to be able to get control of this game? Because I have to equip the Arbalest. I have to nail Golem Artisan once, twice. On the other hand, I could go one, two, three. I should probably just do that. Get all those Infect guys if I can. The other option here is to just bounce the Golem Artisan, which definitely gives me time. But then he has the Slice and Twain out. Hmm. I think I'm going to need all my mana for a while. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. I think this is right. Land would be awesome. Mm. I think I just do it. I mean, I definitely do this one. And then I think I just passed the turn. Yeah, I'm happy with the way I played that. He's got the slice in twain. Uh, he's got me, though. He might have just been playing around Disperse last turn. Better to play around the cards I know he does have, though. Because that could have been pretty devastating. Oh, uh, I could lose here. That was stupid. I should have uh, nailed the Iconclaw Mirror first to see if he used... Uh, the untamed might. Yep. Misplayed this very, very much. Oh man, he's thinking about it. That's not good. Yep. Probably better off just not. Yeah, I can't. Can't do it now. I gotta take the one. Missed my chance. Okay, so I have to be able to get this guy twice. That's good. Okay. Got that guy, and got that guy. Hmm. Just in case he has Black Cleave Goblin. I think I just need to play the Looming Grid Drake here. 
Not sure I'll have a better opportunity than that. Especially like if he has the removal spell, this is definitely the best play. Okay, hopefully I'll just get him here. Definitely play the Sky Eel School. Turn on the gas. Discard Sea Strider, because I need those blue. Yeah, I should be a one less poison counter for sure if I had played that differently. Jalad Fallen. I can move the Arbless to kill that guy. I think that's worth it. Carapace Forger. Hmm. So, let's see. I nailed the Carapace Forger. Move it to the Luminger Drake. Kill the Teljalad Fallen. And then I have all kinds of mana left over. So I should just use all of my mana here. Or at least, yeah. Not sure if I could should take the last one. Yeah, I think I should. this creature deals okay no whammies all right, that was by the skin of our teeth, but that was fun.